so I looked up the area around here and there is only like four restaurants and that's pretty much all there is out here. Everything else is pretty much a bus ride away since we're on a hill. We're kind of far from the other cities, the other little towns. Uh, but I plan to check out all these four restaurants and see what I think, give you my honest opinion on them. And so we are about to go to the first one. So let's see what's open. Let's see what's out there. So let's go. quiet here. The food was okay. Not flavors that I'm used to. There's seriously like nobody out here. It's kind of creepy. But it is nice and cold outside. smell like a fire pit like firewood burning and I love that smell it's kind of cool yeah so that meal was located in a hotel that they have here and it was also 35 Swiss francs which comes out to be maybe like $40 um, US dollars so yeah if you're gonna come out here it's a little pricey but um just keep that in mind but we are home now so time to go to sleep and get ready for tomorrow because we have a fun day tomorrow morning so Stay tuned to see what it is. I got a ticket to go check out a farm of llamas and alpacas that is like a 20 minute walk from here. Um, it's like a two hour thing. So I, I think I need some animal loving in my life right now. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I've ever seen a, an alpaca or a llama. I'm sure I have, but like they're not very common. Um, so I'm excited to spend some some new time with them. So let's go.
looking for food. No. <laughs> So, they can't eat. Walking through this forest, it's so beautiful. This is exactly what I needed. Hey, you can't eat that. Just some, no, some time with some animals. To lift up your spirit. Mister's trying to take a little lunch break at every second. You're hungry, aren't you? I know. Come on. But let me show you our view. such a great experience if you're ever out here I highly recommend that business the owner of the place um, and he was just so kind and you know those are the kind of businesses that make you hope that they have a lot of success um, the alpacas were well trained they're not aggressive animals I mean I'm sure there's some but all the all the llamas <sighs> there was actually more llamas than alpaca I think there was just one alpaca um, so we were pretty much with the llamas but they were all just like very nice llamas so so cute it makes me want to get one <laughs> so this llama place is like a 20 minute walk and the walk to and from is just so, so beautiful, so peaceful. It's like, there's a little no cottage ever. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they pass by sometimes, but for the most part, there's no cars. I'm sitting on this little bench here that I found on the side of the road. Just needed to take a little break because that was a two hour walk. <laughs> um, and then I have like 15 minutes to go to get home. But I also want to go try out this restaurant. So we're probably going to stop by there and try to get some food because all I had was a cup of coffee. So let's go check it out. giving me bunker vibes I don't know what that is huh
I asked for an iced coffee and this is what they gave me. It looks good. This restaurant had the same menu as the first one and when I went to the first one I told them you know I don't eat meat is there a dish that you can give me without meat and so they just compiled all these little things on the plate um, it wasn't an actual item on the menu and then at um, this cafe I decided to pick an actual item from the menu which was they called it little tiny like tiny dough balls and to me it kind of tasted like mac and cheese but with like white cheddar and it was good there was a particular flavor to the cheese that's a little different but all in all it pretty much reminded me of um, white cheddar mac and cheese and the interesting thing about that is that she told me that people usually eat it with applesauce now I don't know if they like mix it together or they take a bite and then take a bite of the applesauce that's what I did I felt a little weird mixing them together but it kind of um was like a sweet and salty kind of combo is the best way I could describe it and so I got that dish I got a bottle of water, I got the applesauce, and I got the ice cream espresso. And all of that came out to about $42, $43. Alrighty guys, so we are about to go check out the third restaurant that they have out here. Um, the first two have the same menu. And so I'm hoping that this one doesn't have the same menu. So let's go check it out. Um, this is the most recommended restaurant that they told me about. So I'm hoping that it's good. So let's go check it out. You guys, it has been so foggy all day. And I kind of love it because it's like spooky season, but at the same time, I want a little bit of sun <laughs> to go out and do things, but let's go eat. out there we enjoyed a, a little bit of rain out there this the restaurant's like a like a five minute walk so and it's not really it's not raining too hard but we did get a little wet so time to get into something nice and cozy and get ready So the beer, the food, and the dessert were 49 Swiss, Swiss francs, um, which probably comes out to like $55, $56. 
Um, so just so you knew, but it was really good. Um, I am happy that I didn't have to pick, I didn't have to use that menu that all the other restaurants are using. You know, they have a different menu. Um, so I was happy for that. Um, they probably have like three things that are vegetarian. Um, so I'll probably go back to that restaurant to try the other things, but it was pretty good for f over $50. No, but <laughs> it is what it is. <sighs> All right, guys. So we are going to the fourth and final restaurant that is in this area. And I am going to give you my honest opinion and see how it goes. I have a feeling that it's going to have the same menu as the other three. Um, actually, the other two. Uh, Kiner was the only one that had a separate um, menu. But I feel like this one is going to have the same menu as the other ones. So we'll see. But... Yeah, let's go, um, let's go check it out. I'm gonna... was the fourth restaurant and it was a little chaotic there's a lot of people and just like one waitress they actually had a different menu at this place so very thankful for that the food was good but I think I'm gonna have to say that Kiner was my favorite out of all the four Do 